Hi folks, Mr. Long here. Today I'm going to review how to factor complex trinomials. So things like if I wanted you, if I asked you to factor something like, oh, I don't know, 2x squared plus 5x plus um, 14, 7. I don't know if that would work or not. No, that wouldn't work, but I think you get the idea. Um, the whole point here is that this number, even after you've common factored, is not 1, okay? That's the idea, okay? But that one does not common factor. Okay, so um, I've put the summary here of what defines it. Um, we know that uh, if I've got ax squared plus bx plus c, after common factoring, in other words, a is not 1, I need to find two numbers that add, big letter A in a circle, to b, Okay, so add to this number here in the middle, b, and they have to multiply, big M, to a times c. Okay, I'm not going to go into why that works. That's just the facts. Okay, those, those are just the facts. Okay, so let's go through an example. Let's go through an example. So 5x squared minus 18x plus 9. Remember what factoring is. I'm trying to take something that's a sum or a difference and represent it with a product, right? So it's... The process of factoring involves division, okay? In order to do division, I probably have to understand multiplication. So how do I go about this? Well, I know that the two, the two numbers that I'm looking for have to add up to negative 18, they add to b, and they have to multiply to a times c, 5 times 9. Okay, what does that tell me? Well, they add up to an even number and negative, okay? So they add up to an even number and it's a negative even number. Let's look at this. They have to multiply, oh in this case too, as, as with the previous example, um, or maybe, I can't remember it was a previous example, um, they multiply to 45. Well, what are the only kinds of numbers that multiply to 45? two odd numbers, right? Two odd numbers. So I know both numbers I'm looking for are odd. Okay, both numbers are odd. And here's what that means. It also is a positive. So it at, the two numbers add up to a negative, but multiply to a positive. Hmm. So what are two, what, what two numbers will add to a negative, but multiply to a positive? They have to both be negative. Okay, they have to both be negative. And the other thing they both have to be is odd because two odd numbers multiply to give you an odd number. So both numbers are odd, both numbers are negative. Now that acts, believe it or not, that reduces it by a factor of four. Half of all numbers are odd and then we only have to deal with the negative ones. Okay, so we've reduced significantly our possible answers to this. So here's the way we do this, okay? We start by putting the A term in the top left and the C term. It says AC there. It should just be the C term. The C term there. Okay, so I do that. And, and I'm missing the diagonals, okay? Uh, I'm missing the diagonals. You may hear some dogs barking. Uh, people are uh, just coming into our house. My apologies. So um, you have, you've got a missing diagonal here, okay? A missing diagonal here. And um, we need to figure out what those two numbers are. Those are the two numbers that multiply to 45 and add to negative 18. That tells us they're both odd. This tells us they're both negative because it multiplies to a positive as well. Okay, so if I go through my multiplication chart or times tables or whatever, use my calculator repeatedly, it works out that the two numbers are negative 15 and negative 3. Both odd, both negative. What do I do with those? Well, I, I complete the grid. I fill up the inside of the grid. Now, it does not matter where I put them. I could put the negative 3x there and the negative 15x there. It just doesn't matter, okay? So I fill in the grid with those two numbers. All right, the next thing I do is now I, what I do is I common factor across the rows and I divide going down the rows, 
Okay, I divide going down the rows. So the first thing I'm looking for is what is the common factor of 5x squared and negative 15x? And I really don't worry about the x squared and the x, just worry about 5 and 15. Well, 5 and 15, it's clearly 5. Now, x squared, x goes into x squared and x is part of x. So it's 5x. I go to the bottom, negative 3, positive 45. What's the common factor there? Well, I always have to factor out a leading negative. So it's negative 3. Okay, it's negative 3. Then, after that, folks, I've now common factored across. Now I just divide going down to get these numbers up here. So really, all I have to do, and I find I like to do the one at the bottom. Uh, I have to just do negative 3x divided by negative 3. Well, what's that going to be? Negative 3x divided by negative 3 is just going to be x, right? 1x. Just do negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, and there's an x, so 1x. Then I go over here to find out this number. I just do plus 45 divided by negative 3. What's that worth? Negative 15. Now, I did put this up here just to show you that you can do the top as well. 5x squared divided by 5x is just x, right? Or I could do negative 3x divided by negative 3. It doesn't matter. Okay, so common factor across, common factor across, divide down, divide down. Okay, so now I've got my answer. 5x by, so it's a rectangle, right? It's area, so it's length multiplied by width. 5x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 15. Okay, and I'm done. Okay, so again, pause, rewind, go over this uh, step by step. Um, but there's a clear process here and you just need to practice it. Okay, folks, uh, you know, you don't have to become a world champion at this. Just make sure you can, you know, do it as quickly as possible as, as you yourself can do. Okay, and uh, use that multiplication chart. Uh, it's critical. If you, if you don't know your times tables, you've got to be using the multiplication chart that's on the back of your formula sheet. And what you should do now is try this one, right? Try that one. And uh, hopefully you get some information out of this. You know that it multiplies to a negative and, because negative 49 and 6. And then it has to add to 7, right? That's a trick. There's a, there's, you get big numbers in this one, right? You get really big numbers in this one. 49 times 6 and plus 7. So it's going to take you a while. This is one you're going to have to use your calculator for. Um, but eventually, you'll end up with that number right there. Okay, folks. So um, best of luck and, and again, happy factoring.